Hey, hey, NBA 2K My League fans, Coach 2K back with some more NBA 2K My League expansion series action with the Cincinnati Lions. If you like realistic basketball, realistic My League action, you're in the right place. 12 minute quarters, 82 games. We don't believe in simming here, we play every single game. And we're at the halfway point of the second season here. Getting started, looking around, the Lions here moved into the top of the power rankings. We actually dropped a spot. We were at number five. We got beat by the Bulls, who ended our 12-game win streak last game. And seven of our next eight are on the road here. We got the Ravens, the other expansion team in the West that came in when the Lions did. So we got a tough schedule, some tough games coming up. Those teams are pretty good. Now looking around the league, what's going on? The players of the week last week, Rayshon Odin with the Bulls. You know, he had his big win against the Lions. Ikeem Kingsley with the T-Wolves, great team out West. You can see there some of his scores. You can see he put up 44 against us in the win. And they had three wins last week as the Bulls are one of our top contenders in the Eastern Conference. I King Kingsley, they also won all three of their games. You can see he put up 41 in one of the games last week, and he's a pretty good uh, guard there. All-star voting, you see, it's pretty much assured Donnell Jenks is going to be the first Lion in franchise history to make an all-star game. Now, he did win the dunk contest last year, I'm pretty sure, at the look back. He leads the league in scoring 34.1 points a game. Rooks, Odin, Dupree, and Dantley are up there with him. And then in terms of rebounds, Sean Rooks with the Nets. He's their big man over 15 boards a game with Woolridge, the other big man that's pretty tough in the league. Curtis Jennings, who just got traded to the T-Wolves, leading the league in assists. See, Howie Lloyd there, number two. I bet if we up his minutes, we could maybe make him the assist leader in the league. We may think about that. Bobby Bernard leading the league in steals. Njai is a rookie right there in number two spot. And uh, he's maybe one of the best rookies in the league. We're going to see him today. Sean Rooks also leads the league in blocks at almost three a game. Sam Mackay Tompkins, another seven-footer for the Dallas Mavericks uh, at number two there. So let's take a look at these Ravens here. They are, I think, number seven in the West. They've lost five straight. They were hot for a while, and uh, they've kind of cooled off since then. Well, they were one of the last few teams to beat us before the Bulls, before we started that uh, win streak. And Jinx had 38 against them in the loss. And yes, we got beat by eight. And Marion Wells put up 48 points against us. He was a just flat-out monster in that game. And so we'll see him again today. Now, Ninja is a rookie, one of the top rookies, um, leading candidate for Rookie of the Year there, number two probably. Stefan De Las with the Pelicans. He's another good rookie. We saw him a few games ago. And he is out, what, four to six months, two to four months due to a torn right MCL. So I hate to see that for that rookie. And so he's going to be out for a little while. But Ninja, you look at some of his games here. He's double-double guys sometimes. He had 11 and 13 in his last game. And we'll see a few plays from him, not too many. Marion Wells, and you can see there, he can put up some numbers. He had 12 rebounds. That's near triple-double against the Clippers there. Just missed it by one. They got some injuries, though, this game. Theo Vonley out. Melvin Rozier out. And also, Neil Atkinson out. So they got three injuries here as we come into this game here. So let's look at the highlights here. You can see Marion Wells before we start the game. Their top player averaging 16.7 points a game, 7.1 rebounds and 1.3 blocks. And of course, our superstar, Danielle Jinx, 34 points a game, leading the league and scoring like we showed you. Our lineup still the same here. Lloyd, Zing, Jinx, Drew, Billups. A lot of consistency. These guys are gelling together here. Marion Wells. He attacks our weakness right off the top, which is Zing at the number two slot uh, in his situation there. He's not the best defender. Marion Wells is a great offensive player. Here he gets down court after the steal by Njai, who leads the league in steals, and gets the uh, pull-up jumper. Now here's play of the game with us. Jinx comes in here, and he posterizes the rookie. And look at this play here. This was a great knock. I could see it coming. There he is, the rookie, taking another look at it here. Look at that. You can see. What a great play for him. And Marion Wells, you know, he would, uh, he'd play well here in the first half. He'd pick up another two there. And here, nice play as we roll to the rim with Billups. And Billups gets the lay-in, didn't dunk it 
And the pretty play there, nonetheless, as Billups gets in from Allie Lloyd picking up one of his assists. There we find the, the pick and fade with Eddie Drew hits the three. He'd get two quick fouls early. And look at another monster dunk with Danielle Jenks. Look at that. Anyway, Eddie Drew got two quick fouls early. They put him on the bench, and Bonzi Harris had to come in. There's Njai with a nice basket as we decided not to play any defense. And here's another look at him as he gets to the basket and scores again. Nice job by the rookie. And Byers proves, yeah, you can't, you got to defend him out there or he's going to score. And we get inside and there we miss it. But look, Gordon Wells not giving up on the play. He steals it right back. And he lays it in and he gets fouled. Big play there, puts us up uh, by six, now by seven. And here, another play, he's going to take it in. And we're going to get Bonzi Harris on the break. And he's going to get fouled, get a chance for a three point play here. And now we're up by nine. He's going to try and make it a 10 point game. And he does. And so early, we got a double digit lead. And here, look at Calvin Hood going all the way to the rim between all of those Ravens. And he scores on the lay in. There's Mike Wang. You guys didn't know it <laughs> and scores and now we're up by 14 and you can see marion wells is like a little frustrated on the bench there as the behind the back pass from bonzi harris to eddie drew puts us up by 16 and there we missed but look at bonzi harris look at this play here he gets in here and he he wants the rebound so bad he just shoves him out of the way nice play by bonzi harris there to get the rebound some of our good defense there as we were in his face and we're going to get it on the break and I'll lay it in. Byers is going to lay it in up by 20 now as we are cooking. And there we play some good defense again on the turnaround jump shot. We're going to get it out in the fast break. We're going to find Danielle Jenks who's going to dunk another one to give us a 24 point lead. Three minutes into the second quarter. <laughs> and look at this dunk by Marion Wells coming down the other end. and said, you know, I can dunk too. And here we're going to get inside. Eddie Drew is going to do the reverse dunk. Put us up by 25. You can see the team's excited. And Marion Wells is going to get in there again. This time, look at the big block by Billups. Billups is going to get uh, to Howie Lloyd. Howie Lloyd is going to catch Danielle Jenks. Danielle Jenks on the alley-oop in the fast break. Great block by Billups to start that. And a nice dunk by Jenks. As as soon as he gets the pass, he takes off and launches and gets the dunk we're going to find billups here on the fast break he's going to get a dunk it's a dunk fest and i think that's 27 27 point lead you know the rule man generally 27 points is enough to get you the victory but just for good measure there we're going to keep pounding on some points nice job by double o at half it was 63 to 35 you can see we're scorching Njai had nine drew had 15 there's a look at the stats. We did turn it over quite a bit. We got kind of sloppy, especially when our third string comes in. And uh, they got to the line a lot on this one. They went, CPU went to the line 29 times as they attacked the rim nearly every possession and got a lot of fouls. Like I said, they got two quick ones on Eddie Drew, put him on the bench early uh, because he was in foul trouble. You can see here that Wells ended up with 44. Njai had 18. So good, guy, good game for those guys, but obviously I don't think they were at full strength. Probably the last time I think we'll see them this year since we've seen them twice and they're out west. You can see Jenks, he had, what, 36, 38, I can't tell. A screen, I uh, can't see it quite well, but Drew right there behind him with 26. Lloyd, 10 points, 10 assists. Look at Billups, 10 rebounds, almost a double-double for him. Great outing for the Lions. Scores around the league. The Lakers got beat as uh, the Knicks came through. As Hot Rod Dupree had 32, even going 3 of 12 from three-point land. You can see some of his uh, stats from the last four games. As the Lakers, I think they won seven in a row up to that point. Um, you got Carr there. Dante Carr, pretty good game for him. He's had 20 rebounds in the last game against Charlotte. Really good player, Dante Carr. Rockets, they beat the Nuggets. Rockets, first 30-team win uh, in, in the season. Uh, Fabricio Del Negro, 
he had 21 in the win for the Rockets. For the Nuggets, Tyreek Scott has been pumping in the points, man. He's been having some great performances there. He put up 43 in the last game against OKC as he's been really playing well for the Nuggets, who are over 500 now. The Hornets got beat by the 76ers. Jabari House for the Hornets had 21. And there's Geogis Alexander, the other rookie. He had uh, 17, I think. And Carr, Roy Carr, he had uh, 20. You can see some of his stats the last several games. Pacers, they beat the Hawks coming off of a losing streak there. As Dantley had 38 points. Pretty good game for Byron Dantley. Look at some of his stats over the last several games. Breaking a losing streak there. I think they lost five straight. And uh, for the Hawks, Randall, some of his stats the last four games. Not someone we know a whole lot about. The Hawks really aren't that good, but Freeman Gentry really struggling there. Bulls beat the Mavs to continue their winning ways. You can see here Samakai Tompkins, their big seven-footer, had a double-double. And a block. You can see it four blocks a game ago. But they've been losing. The Mavs were hot, and now they're on a cold streak. And there's Rayshon Odin, what he had, 38 and 12. And, you know, they had a couple 40-point games a couple games ago like we looked at. And there's our score. We improved to 29 and 12, 41 games into the season. Halfway through, the Pelicans. Looks like they beat the, uh, the Grizzlies. And Freeman Beasley led the Grizzlies there. Hollis Bremer also one of the rookies. You can see some of his stats the last several games. Freeman Beasley, a really good player. T-Wolves. Got beat by the Kings. Big win for the Kings there. I came Kingsley and Woolrys, the duo for the T-Wolves. You can look at some of the stats. Look at that, 32 points, 17 rebounds for the big man. Akeem Dorsey for the Kings with a double, double. I look at some of his stats over the last several games as well. I think uh, I think the Wolves, uh, T-Wolves team to beat out West. All right, I'm Coach 2K. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'll see you guys on the court in the next video. Thanks for watching.